All right, my friends, welcome to Nostalgia Trap. We are uh, continuing, so somewhat unexpectedly, continuing our year in review with Justin Rogers Cooper. Justin, good to see you again. We left a nice to see. Left, yeah, we left a lot of threads open. We, I guess we left some threads on the table, and we just wanted to finish our conversation that we started last week, and then uh, maybe uh, have a nice little uh, movie talk in the future. I don't know. Threads. That's a uh, that's the Instagram version of Twitter, right? You tell me, my friend. Are you are you, are you on Threads? Nope, I'm not. Nope. I'm not. Me neither. Um, I see it like pop up all the time. Like they say, hey, check out this thread someone wrote. You know, but it's weird. It's it's funny how like some stuff hits and some doesn't. Um, it reminds me of Social Network, like the movie at the beginning, like when Facebook is just happening, and they're like. His partner's like, we got to put ads on this. And Zuckerberg's like, no, man, like we can't put ads on it because we have something more powerful than that right now. We have something cool. He says something along the lines of like, I think the Justin Timberlake character, who's like Sean Parker, he says something along the lines like, you have like a party going on right now. And if you put ads on it, it's going to say the party's over at 11 p.m. It's not cool anymore. People are going to leave. <laughs> so in other words, there's like, it seems like even among these guys, there's a recognition that there's like some sort of like, I don't know, un, un unquantifiable element of of cool that makes these things draw people to them and start using them. Like Instagram's like a huge platform, obviously, and they're like, "Hey, we have threads now." And it's like, eh, no one cares. You, you know what the irony is? Is if you have too much corporate capitalism on your network at the wrong time, people get sick of it. <laughs> but the thing that they're doing on social networking is branding themselves. And so it's kind of like if you look at Facebook Marketplace, but you look at the Californication thesis that we've bandied about, <laughs> the very thing that people think is uncool, which is basically too many Volkswagen ads you know, coming at you or ads that aren't relevant to me or ads that are in the middle of the party. Well, part of what the party pooping is about is that you have all these sort of young buck entrepreneurial capitalists selling their own shit. And so the thing they're complaining about isn't necessarily an anti-capitalist complaint. <laughs> right. It's the complaint of the small business owner who's like, yo, that fucking box store is going to come into Main Street, take all my fucking customers. Yeah. It's like get get off the stage, dude. You know? Yeah. Like like this mm -hmm. is my this is my open mic. Yep. You know, don't say support I small businesses, hashtag. Yeah. And I mean, in, in a space that I and I know these are like, you know, privately curated corporate spaces, but they also purport to be like public spaces in some way or people use them that way. So, you know, they have an expectation of like, hey, you know, I watch fucking TV. I wa I'm, I'm subjected to advertising and your story all the fucking time. This is my place. Like right. face, Facebook is my personal wall, you know, and like my Twitter is my or X is my timeline. Like I, this is my chance to like express myself and make my own brand. It, it is interesting because it is like, yeah. Yeah. And, and even it, if you're not directly monetizing it, you're monetizing it. You know what I mean? Like even if you're a fuddy duddy academic and let's say you have a book to hawk, your publisher, as small as they might be, you're going to be like, bro, you need to get on social media. And fucking hawk your book that a little hits bit. a little too close to home dude it's well it's, I'm, <laughs> hey i'm not necessarily criticizing i'm just yeah no i know it, it you know? i mean it it the i mean for those that don't listen to every episode of our show <laughs> californication <laughs> thesis uh, this is something we've we've thrown around for a few years now is that like you know the social media you know, it's, not, it's not necessarily an original thesis i don't think but it's like social media has turned us into uh, all into like sellers and brands of our own sort of, um, I don't know, commercial entity. And it reveals something I think that's been, and I think you would agree, that's been sort of present in the American experiment of individualism and everything for a, for a long, long time, is the conflation of like the public space and the democratic like civic life with the like entrepreneurial life. That like yeah. every person is like, if you have a social security number, you're paying taxes. I mean, me and Claudia, we think of ourselves and our family unit as running a business essentially. And the business is our lives, right? Mm -hmm. We're trying to make as much money as possible so that we can pay for 
houses and clothes and food and pay and off transportation debt. and yeah debt pay off not, debt not die <laughs> right exactly yeah. not die in a debtor's prison <laughs> <laughs> but you know what i'm saying it's like yeah. there is a sense it is that it's that brad pitt at the end of uh killing them softly uh once again where he's like i live in america it's just a fucking business you know there's something like brutal about that but there's also something that's just kind of like hey i'm like i think that's a reality that people accept one way or the other, even on like a subconscious level that like you got to sort of play into the game in some way to kind of sell yourself. Yeah. 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 I completely agree. Um, and I think the only other thing I'd add to the Californication thesis is that uh, as some of your guests have remarked, there's been a uh, pretentious shift in the last 25 years in terms of like where media capital originates and it's shifted from like the Hollywood studios and like the yeah. producers that were centered around Los Angeles and it's shifted up to the Silicon Valley and these tech companies and so like the future of Californication or this or this movement this geographical shift is a movement within capital within California and so the that's Silicon a, Valley model yeah. is really key because the Silicon Valley model let's just think of it in terms of uh you know YouTube or something it's it's there's a certain kind of digital democratization of the market that's able to take place when you give people a new form of computing power, this mobile technology that's now in their hands through these apps, where they have an opportunity to kind of starify, if that's a verb, starify themselves, mm -hmm. instead of moving physically to Los Angeles, trying to make it on the Hollywood strip, getting discovered and getting an agent. And so it's taken a lot of, or it's, it's shifted the power both to the Justin Bieber's of the world, you know, discovered on YouTube and That's you know right. putting themselves out there, but it's also shifted power to titans like uh, Jeff Bezos and um, Sergey Brin and Steve Jobs, followed by Tim Cook, all the kind of leaders of the Silicon Valley companies who are kind of going to be, in some ways, kind of eating the drink no drinking the milkshake if, if that's the right word from the movie yeah. drinking the milkshake uh, of the hollywood studios